Bonjour. My name is Tony Elumelu. I'm the founder of the Tony Elumelu Foundation. Like most of you here, I want to change the world. But I want to change the world by changing the narrative on Africa. For too long, Africa has been characterized and perceived as the dark continent, land of poverty, diseases, backwardness, crime, wars. This is not too different from what we heard about Brazil, about India, and about China not too long. Today, these nations have become economic powerhouses. And the narrative on these countries is changing. People describe them as BRIC countries. Others say they are emerging markets. This is a characterization that I want to see for all the 55 African countries that we have. I want to orchestrate the economic transformation of Africa. And I want to do this by leveraging on the biggest resource endowment that we have on the continent. Africa has an exciting demographic structure. Most of our young ones or the population of Africa is largely populated by people who are below the age of 40. And this is huge demographic dividend. But the challenge is that if we do not utilize and channel this demographic boom effectively, it could easily become demographic disaster and doom, not just for Africa, but it's for the rest of the world. And that is why I want to change the world, like you yourselves, by changing the narrative on Africa. The good news is that it is possible to achieve this. I am evidence of this. I was born, schooled, or educated, and worked in Africa. I can say, or you might say easily, that I was made in Africa and that I made it in Africa. In all my career, close to 30 decades on the continent, I have come to embrace an economic philosophy that I conceive, which is called African capitalism. African capitalism is or advocates private sector's long-term investment that creates economic prosperity and social wealth for mankind, for humanity. Economic prosperity for investors, shareholders, and social wealth for everyone in society. So we invest in power plants on the continent of Africa. We not only make money as shareholders, but we actually help to touch humanity help to improve standard of living, help children go to school, help hospitals attend to people better, and reduce the cost of doing business for the entire continent. This philosophy of African capitalism has guided my investment all across Africa. Today, the little African has, has funded S. Odins, which is a Pan-African Investment Corporation, that invest in 19 African countries. And this philosophy of African capitalism, I strongly believe, will help us in driving or changing the narrative of Africa. About six years ago, I decided to evaluate my life. I thought it was time to think more about legacy and time to think more about impact. 
and in reviewing my life, I came to the conclusion that apart from intellect, apart from hard work, apart from passion, apart from drive, energy, I consider myself a very, very lucky African. And I said, if I must now move to the second phase of one's life, phase of legacy and impact, then how do I help those Africans who are not as lucky as I am? How do I engage them so that collectively all of us can drive the development of our continent? So I decided to institutionalize luck so that others will have access to luck that I had. And also, I decided to democratize access to economic opportunity. And in 2010, I founded the Tony Elumelu Foundation. And in 2015, the Tony Elumelu Foundation, I seeded the foundation with a sum of 100 million US dollars to help identify 10,000 African entrepreneurs. All they need to do or have is ideas and support them with seed capital, mentor them, provide mentors across the world for them, train them, and create networking platform for them. So that collectively, we can all help to create at least one million jobs on the continent of Africa. And that will go a long way in addressing the challenges we have. So that they can increase or add to the economy of Africa at least $10 billion in revenue. And they can help also, guided by the philosophy of African capitalism, help to create not just prosperity for themselves, but help their communities, the continent of Africa, address some of our social challenges. These young two African men and women from 54 African countries I believe have a key role as myself to play in developing Africa. And through this level of engagement, we'll begin to change the narrative on Africa so that when you hear or think Africa, you think Africa from point of view of a continent that has economic opportunities to offer, a continent where you can invest in, a continent where you're safe to travel to, and a continent that will be respected in the international community. This is the way I want to change the world. And I need you to come on board and join us in achieving this. Thank you very much. Mm.